Hello everybody and welcome. All good things must come to an end. Every life, every star, even the universe. Also this channel. But not today. <laughs> Got you there for a second, didn't I? No, what I'm talking about is the active development of Kerbal Space Program. Yes, two weeks before the 10 year anniversary of probably the best game ever conceived, the developers announced that version 1.12, aptly titled On Final Approach, is going to be the last feature update for KSP for PC. The way the announcement was worded, this leaves the door open for console updates, but they did not go into any specifics. I'm not going over the many new features that will be included in the update, I'll reserve that for when I can get my hands on version 1.12. What, what I do want to point out is that the developers currently working on Kerbal Space Program will transition from Squad to Intercept Games, which is the studio in charge of the sequel, Kerbal Space Program 2, slated for a release in 2022. And yeah, this obviously caused a lot of reactions. Despite the sad part, namely KSP's development coming to an end, people were mostly positive since, <laughs> let's face it, nobody thought 10 years ago that little green space people in shoddily constructed rockets would not just endure that long, but also thrive and become a gaming icon. Heck, even CEOs of rocket companies and NASA scientists play the game. Let's also look at what KSP enabled people to become. Scott Manley grew his YouTube channel to hundreds of thousands of subscribers by creating KSP tutorials. Doing KSP videos also launched the channels of other creators like Everyday Astronaut, Matt Laun or Marcus House who are all significant players in the space flight YouTuber scene nowadays. Then there is this touching post on Reddit by Astrononaut, where he details how playing a Kerbal Space Program sparked his curiosity for spaceflight, and that he now aims to study mechanical engineering and hopefully join NASA or at least work in the space industry one day. And this is not the only story in this vein that I have heard. Speaking for myself, KSP reignited my love for space that I had as a kid and that was sadly put on the back burner for way too long. And it made me learn more about orbital mechanics, spacecraft engineering, uh, astrophysics and cosmology more than I could have ever imagined. For this I am truly grateful. I hope you can join me in thanking everyone that made Kerbal Space Program a reality. First and foremost, the original developer Felipe Falang, better known to the community as Harvester. But of course also everyone who has contributed to the game over the years, or rather the decade. Developers, business people and of course modders who carried the game to new heights. My non-existent hat is off to all of you. And if you also share this sentiment, you, yes, you watching, please drop a comment below to say thank you to everyone involved in making KSP the legend that it has become. Let's show some appreciation to those people. Also, if you're a longtime player like me, what are some of the highlights you experienced playing Kerbal Space Program? I'd love to hear some details in the comments, be it from uh, successful missions or horrible failures where missions went hilariously bad either due to Kraken interference or your own mistakes. I'm thinking of doing my own sort of tribute video for the anniversary, but I haven't gotten around to really put some thought into that. Unfortunately, real life work stuff has taken priority at the moment. So, what's next for all things Kerbal? Obviously, there are going to be some bug fixes going forward. I can imagine at least a version 1.12.1 coming soon after the release, as is tradition with a new KSP upgrade. But after that, I hope development on Kerbal Space Program 2 is going smoothly. 
We have seen a few bits and pieces over the past weeks, but some major elements of the game are still hidden in secrecy. I can imagine that this veil is going to be removed more and more the closer we get to an actual release. It now may be the end of an era, but overall I think the future is looking bright for Kerbal Kind. Everything I have seen in the announcement for version 1.12 makes me excited for the update and of course I can't wait to get my hands on Kerbal Space Program 2. And you know what? Maybe we can reminisce about the sequel the same way we do now in 2032. But wouldn't that be great? If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more and follow me on my social thingies. The links are in the description. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.